Hi, Tim Blanche up here with Divorce661.com, and what we're talking about today is more about the petition and issues that we see when people file their own divorce cases before hiring us for our help, is in this case, we're talking about the petition related to child support. We're talking about number seven on page two of the FL100. What we're seeing a trend of people doing incorrectly is they are marking the other box and saying parties waive child support. In California, child support cannot be waived. You may be able to have a zero support order in some cases, if that's how it pencils out, but you cannot waive child support. In fact, box A of number seven says, if there are minor children uh, born or adopted by petitioner or respondent, the court will make orders for child support. It says right there, so you cannot waive it. Now we have lots of people who do not want there to be child support for one reason or another, and there's a way to accomplish that, but you cannot put on the petition that you're waiving child support. You're basically violating California law. So you're basically will have to amend your petition if you do this and because it's incorrect. So don't put anything in the other box. They shouldn't be marking anything in most cases for number seven for child support. Uh, leave that alone. The court's going to make child support mandatory. It's mandatory in the state of California. So leave that box alone. Now, if you want a zero support order, you can do that. There's a way to do it. It's very technical. We do it all the time but you need to know the exact legalese to do that. So if you need help in doing that, give me a call. We can certainly help you uh, finalize your case if that's the, where you're at uh, with your judgment. Uh, or if you're in the beginning of stages of your divorce, just give us a call and make it much simpler to have us uh, work your case from day one. Tim Blankenship, Divorce661.com. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon.